going on it's place like you um coming back with another video and um i just want to talk about the carson wentz trade rumors and i'm sorry i haven't been up on my content i just had too much school i've just been focusing on my school and it's been really hard but um i'm back and i'm probably gonna post two, uh, two videos today and tomorrow um, so, let's talk about the Carson Wentz trade scenario. Like, we had that Matt Stafford trade scenario. The Eagles really could get a first-round pick for this guy. Not to mention two first-round picks for this guy. <clears throat> Which is absolutely ridiculous, in my opinion. Two first-round picks with the season this guy had. Makes no sense to me. I don't know what Ryan Pace is doing there, or is uh, doing over there in Chicago, but he's honestly looking like an idiot. But I wouldn't give up two first round picks for this guy. Not to mention, I wouldn't even give up a first for this guy. And I'm an Eagles fan, and I love Carson Wentz to death, and I'm going to miss him if he leaves. Which it honestly it looks like he's going to leave. But let's talk about the top 10, 9 teams interested in Carson Wentz. 9, 10 teams. And we're going to start off with the New York Jets. So let's, let's see what they have over there. Former Eagles executive Joe Douglas. He knows everything about Wentz. He basically knows a lot about Wentz. And the Jets have plenty of, of cap space to absorb this deal. But I feel like they're going to take a, a, their own guy in the draft. So, I can already cross them off. Unless Joe Douglas wants to make this deal, which it doesn't look like he wants to. Let's go to the Washington football team. Uh, a division rival. They'll probably call about every available quarterback. But why would the uh, why wouldn't the Washington football team try to trade for a guy like this Carson Wentz? I mean, they already did it before with Donovan McNabb. But they don't want to watch him write his career playing him twice a year. So, I can cross them off. Let's go to a team in Las Vegas. Solid and expandable their car is. Has been, John Gruden is more likely to swing for a veteran successor at 2B rather than draft one. He and general, man, uh, general manager Mike Mayock. They're both Philly guys, Philly natives, and are big fans of Carson Wentz. But I just don't see this happening. I don't see this happening. I do see the, the, the Raiders bringing back their car. And I have heard some rumors that their car may be traded, but I don't see this happening. So I can cross that off. So we've already crossed three teams off. Let's leave us with six teams. The Panthers, Niners, Bears, Broncos, uh, Colts, and Patriots. Let's go to the Panthers. Um, they're in the market for a veteran upgrade, but going from Teddy Bridgewater to Wentz may not be a significant enough when Carolina can go out for a cheaper upside in the draft. Um, I don't think going for a quarterback that has, that contract hasn't really even kicked yet until next season and he's getting paid rapidly 
they would be paying him thirty nine million next year. Why go after him when a guy like Justin Fields and Trey Lance can both be there at eight? I believe they're picking. So I can just cross them off. And now we got five teams left. Niners, Patriots, Colts, Broncos, Bears. And let's start off with the New England Patriots. Bill Belichick, he's never he's not the one to shy away from something big. The Pats desperately need a potential long term solution. And they have the big banks <laughs> to pull it off. And, um, Eagles GM Howie Roseman trade with the Patriots a lot. Doing this really won't surprise me. It just makes me think that they have a great uh, connection and great heart. But I don't see this happening. I think Bill Belichick knows Carson Wentz is fixable, but he doesn't want a guy that is hard-headed and doesn't want to listen. So, let's go to the Chicago Bears. Um, the, the Denver Broncos, let's go to them. John Elway still maintained final say over the roster. This might even be more likely, but Denver is perpetually a hot spot for a veteran quarterback accusation. And there is enough use and defense already in place to justify a gamble like that. Getting, I want to trade with the Broncos, but I don't see it happening. If we can trade with the Broncos, and if we do, getting their first round pick we may get a guy like Jamar Chase and I know some people want Kyle Pitts he definitely could be there at nine we could take it we could take that uh we could take him before the Cowboys do so who knows but I don't see it trading with them let's go to the final three Teams. The Niners, Bears, Colts. So let's go to San Fran. Cisco. Like the Panthers, they're in a hunt for a better veteran arm. Once his athleticism would surely intrigue Kyle Shanahan. So it's hard to say he'd be an easy sell over Jimmy Garoppolo. We all know Jimmy Garoppolo's contract is steep and it's priceless. It keeps going up. But imagine what they have to pay Carson Wentz when his contract hasn't even kicked yet. And not to mention, we would have like eight hundred to 900000 in salary if we give up Carson Wentz. If we, if we just uh, trade him, we wouldn't get any cap back. And that sucks. But the Niners seem like a team that will go after a guy like Carson Wentz. They have all the right pieces in place right now. They're just a dynamic quarterback away from winning the Super Bowl. They have a smart offensive mind, a great defense, not to mention they were like Tenth or ninth when it comes to throwing the ball on them or something. I don't know. Seventeen, I believe at one point, but they went up from seventeenth to tenth. But getting a guy like Carson Wentz to go to that system, he could definitely fit in that Kyle Shanahan system. I think he definitely could. Now, I don't see this happening, but uh, because we would have to trade. Jimmy, we, now we would have to get Jimmy Garoppolo big contract because th- we would at least get a first round pick from them, but we would also have to take another contract. But I don't see this happening. 
Now let's go to the final two teams. The Chicago Bears and the Indianapolis Colts. Now I don't think uh, the Bears are a good destination for Carson Wentz, but I am paid, man. I don't know what's gotten into that man's head, but he wants two first round picks for Carson Wentz. Two. He's gonna give up two first round picks for Carson Wentz. With the with the way he played last year, I'm so surprised that the guy will give up two first round picks for Car- uh t- to give away two first round picks for Carson Wentz. Nick Foles' reunion would bring Wentz's tra- a dramatic career full circle, but we already know the Bears are hungry for a new QB. And they've got both the GM and Ryan Pace who targeted once before in the QB's old position coach from 2017. And uh, we're talking about John DeFilippo. Now, if we trade Carson Wentz to the Bears and we get Nick Foles, and I'm I'm so done with this whole Nick Foles drama. Foles and society strikes again, as Philly 500 would say. But I don't think we should do this because he doesn't fit their system. But we can get two first-round picks. I see this team being the most likely team to get Carson Wentz. We're just being honest. They're giving up. They're going to give us two first-round picks and a player. Not to mention a conditional something, uh, fourth, I think. I said, and a third, I believe, this year. Which is absolutely mayhem. Um... And if we get Nick Foles back in exchange, I'm not going to be too happy. I won't be too happy, actually. Because you got a guy in Jalen Hurts, and Jalen Hurts has to watch Nick Foles over his shoulder every day. Knowing that if he gets injured or he makes one stupid play, he can get thrown out and Nick Foles comes in and takes us to the playoffs. And everyone... Slash Bowlesy in society comes back, but I don't think this this is the team that gets it. Now let's go all the way to Indianapolis. Let's talk to the Colts. Let's talk about this one of the smartest football teams in the NFL. Chris Ballard, who has a smart GM mind, unlike Howie Rosen. Fit that's been beaten to death. Indy checks all the boxes now that Stafford's out of the picture. They're loaded with money. They're not primed to get a top rookie QB. And they're ready to compete now under Wentz's former offensive coordinator and Frank Reich. Reportedly one of the one one of the QB's most trusted NFL mentors. It helps Indy is a more laid back market. Now, I've heard some rumors that Frank Reich thinks of Carson Wentz as a non-fixable quarterback. I don't know if he said that, and I don't think that's true because I don't think Nick, uh, Frank Reich would ever say that about Carson Wentz. I think he could definitely fix Carson Wentz. I think there's a, a system that can fix Carson Wentz, and this is the system. Let's do this trade. And I want a guy like... Did they give us something back? I would love it. But that's my video today. And that's the video that I made today. And coming back with more videos tomorrow. Be tuned. If I don't make a video tomorrow, best be it. Because I'm going to make more videos. But this place like is out of here. See you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Peace.